Nissan is absolutely screwed, Dad. 99% decline in global profit, and they're resurrecting one of the programs dealers hate the most. Let's break it down, Dad. Nissan seems to be going in the wrong direction. Uh, well, they are. They've been having some difficulty for a number of years now. Um, and even though they, they make um, relatively inexpensive entry-level vehicles, they're still having a hard time selling them. And what we saw in uh, the last quarter or the quarter before that was that basically 99% of their global profit went towards incentives to help sell the vehicles that were stacking up on dealers' lots here in, in the North America. And on top of that, to hedge their bets to a degree, rather than put additional money on the hood of the vehicles to get them sold. They're counting on the dealers having to hit certain sales objectives. And here's the key. If the dealer doesn't hit the sales objective, they don't get the money. So it doesn't cost Nissan anything when a dealer doesn't hit them, hit the objective. So what Nissan's doing right now is what's called a stair step incentive program or a stair step commission program. Essentially what these dealers have to do, and you'll explain this in even more depth, dad, because you used to have to deal with these stair step incentive programs. They have to sell certain volume of specific vehicles. And when they do, they unlock a per vehicle incentive. So the example here would be if I'm a Nissan dealer and I have an oversupply of rogues, I might get an extra $200 for every, at once I hit 50 rogues sold. But then once I hit 75 rogues sold, I'll get $500 per vehicle. Vehicle. And then if I hit 100 rogues sold, I'll get $1,000 per vehicle. So you can see here, the, the actual numbers can become really, really big and really, really consequential. This drives dealers to make insanely aggressive deals at the end of months when they're on the cusp or on the threshold of hitting these volume, uh, these volume quotas from the manufacturer. This is a bad step in the sense that dealers hate it, but it's actually like a good step for consumers. Go at the end of the month to your local Nissan dealer. They should be pretty desperate, right? Pops, there's a major issue out there. There are all sorts of people brokering your data and anyone can buy it, whether it's your social security number, your home address, what school you went to, all that information and so much more is being sold online to marketers and scammers. That's bad. Absolutely. And the way to prevent that is to use Delete Me. Delete Me will help take your information away from all those brokers so that they can't sell it to the scammers out there. Look at you, Pops. You sound like a Delete Me user yourself. I know I use Delete Me and hundreds of my records have been scraped off of the internet, getting that information out of the hands of those scammers, marketers, and everything in between. We have a special offer for our Car Edge community, 20% off when you sign up with the link joindeleteme.com slash car edge. Top of the description will be that link, Dad. We both use Delete Me. We enjoy using Delete Me. I like the monthly reports that show me all my data being removed from the internet. We thank Delete Me for sponsoring our channel. One day, you might not even see me here. <laughs> Dad, Nissan joins a laundry list of other automakers that are struggling mightily right now. Stellantis, which is the parent company of Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, and also Volkswagen. They are really, really struggling with an oversupply of inventory and vehicles sitting on dealer lots for a long, long time. Here's a couple examples, Dad. I just went to the CarEdge.com car search, and you can see here the Nissan Frontier on the screen, 126 days on the lot. The Nissan Rogue to its right, 173 days on the lot. You sold cars for 40 plus years, man. If you've got vehicles sitting around for this long, plus a stair-step incentive from the manufacturer, the alarm bell's going off in your head, right? Like any customer, any lead, anyone who's potentially interested in these vehicles, you're trying to redirect them to the oldest one. And I mean, hopefully they don't know that there's a stair-step program. Hopefully they don't know that there's an oversupply. Hopefully they don't know that you've been sitting on this car for 170 plus days. But if they are knowledgeable, you're going to discount this thing, right? Like you have immense incentive as the dealer to give them a better deal or to to at least like make the deal, correct? Absolutely. And, and you know, you, you'd probably have to be the deaf, dumb and blind kid who plays a mean pinball if you didn't realize that these dealers were overstocked. All you have to do is walk the lot. I mean, I remember last summer when we were out at the local Nissan dealer down here at the shore and it was like, there were rogues everywhere. So all you have to do is walk the dealer lot and you see all the inventory. It, you would be foolish to think, oh, 
oh, that's not more than enough. Um, trust me, they're struggling to move what they have. And if you utilize some of the tools that are available at CarEdge and you know how long that vehicle has been sitting on the lot, yes, you can use that to your advantage because the longer the car has been there, the more motivated the sales manager is to make sure it goes away. Um, so between incentives to the customers directly, uh, the stair step program available to the dealer, uh, and the information you can walk in with from CarEdge, you should be able to negotiate quite a big discount to get the, get the deal in your favor. So one of the big things hurting these Nissan dealers and those other automakers I mentioned a moment ago is floor plan costs. So these dealers do not pay cash for their inventory. They are paying a finance charge every single month for all these cars sitting there. So no wonder Nissan is having to step up with additional incentive money to the dealers. And obviously, Nissan lost 99% of their operating profit because they were providing so many incentives to consumers. The uh, financial impact here is really obvious. The longer these cars sit, the more it costs these dealers in floor plan expense. And so that's a major driving factor and a motivating factor for why they're going to be even more aggressive. And, and Dad, we just dropped just the other day our Q4 best deals you can get based on oversupply and market dynamics, things like that. We're coming up to the end of 2024 if you're watching this video not too far in the future. And that means that these Nissan dealers between now and the end of the year should be really, really aggressive because that floor plan expense keeps building up as the inventory doesn't move. It just creates this opportunity, especially with end of Q4 for like really kind of like a buyer's market. You have all the leverage. Do not PSA. If you are a Nissan shopper, you have all the leverage. That is the purpose of this video. You have all the leverage and it's because of supply, demand and floor plan. Okay, that could have been a 30 second video, right, Pops? Yeah, but you know, nobody would watch a 30 second video. The, the truth of the matter is the dealers set sales objectives for themselves, okay, at the dealership level for themselves for the year. And dealers want to hit those numbers. So they tend to get more aggressive as the year moves on, the closer they get to the end of the year. In this particular case, Nissan corporate finds themselves in a situation where there's too many cars and they've created another set of sales objectives for the dealer to hit along with what the dealer's uh, sales goals were. So there's two motivating factors at the dealership now. One, the goal that they had set for themselves for the year, and two, the goal Nissan has now set for them to hit so that they can get the largest payout possible for hitting their sales goals with Nissan. And then the third part of all this is the floor plan expense. The sooner they can sell these vehicles, the faster they can stop paying for them. And the interest on floor plan adds up dramatically every damn day. It never stops. If you're trying to get the best deal on your next car, go to caredge.com. Let us help you out. Thanks as always, Pops. My pleasure. Thank you, Handsome.